What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. This is episode number two on our playthrough of this game. Uh, if you missed the last episode, go check it out. It was a lot of fun. The intro to this game is absolutely incredible. They fixed a number of the small mechanical and, you know, controller issues that I had with the first game, or at least it feels like they fixed them. Um, at the very least, they've made them a little bit more uh, user-friendly and less... Um, I don't know, less janky, like like the durability changes are really nice features. You can see we have a rock on our shield, which adds some strength to it, which means it doesn't break as easily. That was one of the biggest things I had. Uh, and also, if you missed last episode, we are currently still on the Sky Island. We're headed towards these, the third of the shrines that we need to unlock, the Temple of Time, where supposedly uh, Zelda is hiding out in. We still have yet to make it to the huge zone that's below us, but lots of gameplay left. And we ended the day at, we ended video one at 3 a.m. And I couldn't figure out how to get up here. So I've kind of reset. Uh, we're refocused. We got some sleep. We're ready to dive in and see um, see if we can't find this. I think, based on the map, because last time I figured, you know, let's just go back to the center island. But this is where you start the game. I don't even know if you can get back there. So I think this cave right here, there's got to be an entrance somewhere in here that I just missed. Because I really don't understand... Um, oh, also my sprint is working today. So remember how yesterday I was saying there should be a sprint? It's, it is the same button as last game and it just was not working yesterday. So maybe the, an update that I didn't see or just restarting the switch seems to have fixed it. So happy about that because that was, that was a little, little annoying as we're going to make a couple little resistance things because we are headed to the snow part of this and we, we need some uh we need some warmth resistance so we'll make make a couple spicy sauteed peppers here and then we'll go through this cave because last time like you could climb up pretty far and it looked like it came to a dead end but i mean at 3 a.m when i was dead tired i very well could have just missed something so if it's not in here we'll, we'll probably have to backtrack and go the long way like i talked about but Let's just have a look and see um, see if uh, see if we can find out where to go. Because the one way led to the big white frog. But there was a way you could keep climbing. Like, this way leads down to the frog, which we already did. Like, up here, like, why does it look like this is just a dead end? All right, well, that just shows you how tired I am because this was not... I feel like this is not here what it clearly was here. Well, that's a little embarrassing, but it allowed me to get some sleep, which we, we really desperately needed. So we're going to take one of these things and now... All right, well, we, we made it up top. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. Honestly, I might turn on motion controls until I find my, um, wow, can't believe I missed that. Until I turn on, or find my pro controller, because with this controller, it's actually, like, super sensitive. So I think, as much as I don't like it, I feel like it's actually easier than trying to get this tiny little joystick. So I am going to turn this on if we, if we need to turn it off later. It's probably easier to aim with motion controls than it is with this tiny little joystick. But nonetheless, something we couldn't find yesterday, we have found. We are now on top of the mountain, headed towards our third hand shrine, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I see what we got to do. We have got to... It needs to... Oops. There we go. Oh, hey, bud. Yeah. <laughs> you found me. Thanks for the seed. Bye uh bye. -huh. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Yes, yeah, so we got to get up to that shrine. That's. Priority number one for today. Yeah, I think it's a phenomenal start. Like I said, I wasn't, and, and this is probably the unpopular opinion, I wasn't a super fan of Breath of the Wild. 
I think there was a lot of good things and a lot of equally annoying things, but in terms of the story, it, it was fine. It was great. Yeah. Put that down, Link, you goober. Yeah. Hmm. Soldier contracts and captain contracts are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Oh, good. Hey, guys. Thick stick we don't really need. I do like... What do we got here? Um... No, nah, I think we'll... I think we'll... We won't pick either of those up because we already got some pretty good weapons. I don't really want to drop any of them for this. Don't really need to cook any more food. We just did that. Yeah, I don't know why the sprint wasn't working because I knew I wasn't crazy. Like, the, the sprint is definitely part of the game. Like, you get it right away. And I just, like, could not get it working whatsoever. So I'm glad that that seems to be fixed. Because not that it's, like, that necessary for exploring and, and doing little, you know, little missions and whatnot. But your contract bow broke. Well, there's another one. Flame emitter club. It's a downgrade from what I'm using, so I probably... White choo-choo jelly, nice. Probably don't need to pick that up either. Gotta keep an eye on our cold resistance here. Charred pepper, okay. Yeah, it's not like... Jesus. It's not super necessary to have the sprint, but like just going from a point that you need to you know you're going in the straight line don't need to explore a lot it is it is very nice having having the uh the option to sprint when you need it oh bubble booble gem Bomb flower, dangerous flower that contains explosives, so you can put that on a bow. We're running out of arrows, which is not the most idea ideal. How many do I even have? Four left. That's a little bit of a concern. That's all right. We'll figure that out when the time comes. Ooh, rock salt. Yeah, thoroughly impressed with the game so far, and that's, like I said, coming from somebody who wasn't one of the Turbo fans, and feel free to, you know, hate on me in the comments. I understand that's an unpopular opinion, but not, again, not that the game was bad. It just wasn't, like, I mean, I, I it's hard to argue with a game that got such glowing reviews. It just wasn't quite my cup of tea, but again, they seem to have fixed a lot of the things that were, there were issues. So we'll see. We'll continue playing it. I had a lot, I mean, a lot of fun playing last night. So we're finding our way to this third shrine. This is the last one we need. I think, the, I think the biggest thing is the movement with the hand, like all the abilities you can do and the crafting. I think that's a really cool and unique. What in? Uh, let's take out a good weapon for this guy. Oh, I wonder if I got to shoot his little eyeball thing. Yep. Is he dead? Nice. Save that weapon for another time because that thing is... Like like stone. A strange round of stone from a like like made from crystallized. It's good for ingredients for elixirs. Perfect. Yep. Yup. Opal. Nice. Get off there, Link. Stop climbing. This ain't no jungle gym. Alright, keep going up. We're inside the we're inside the mountain now, headed towards 
the top, the tippity top of the mountain. But we are indeed only halfway up. Okay, here we go. Bomb flowers. Those will come in handy. Again, we need a little more arrows, so. Can you craft, like, is it possible to, like, make arrows? Probably, you can use this to make campfire if you have something to light it. No. I don't think you can make arrows. At least I can't make arrows at the moment. That's fine. Gather all this resources. Another one. Come on. Come on. In fact, let's... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It broke. Flame emitter shield. Nice. Uh, no, wrong button. What do we got here? Look at this thing. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it shoots flames. Oh my lord. This is going to be so fun. Look at that flame head. Opal. But it does consume um, stuff I really don't want it to consume. So I think we'll just use this shield till it breaks. I probably should put a rock on that, eh? The other shield. Ooh, a flame emitter. All right, well, we're getting a bunch of the flame emitters now. I think I want to attach this to my shields. Now we can use this one. All right. Hell yeah. Oh, what a good view. Oh, wait, 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 we're cold. Nope. Look at this view. All right, all right, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're almost at the top now. It's just above us. <laughs> and it froze me. Good to know. Good to know. I must only have a couple of arrows now. Ooh. That's just a tree branch. I thought it was a I thought it was a stick. The tree branches are okay. I really need to start jumping out of the way for that. Alright, well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Don't need that. Up we go. What's this way? Looks like there's two ways you can possibly go. I don't really need too many bird meals here. Is that a stick? Uh, drop that. Pick up the wooden stick. Then we'll equip one of the wooden sticks. We'll attach can we attach an amber to it Ooh, look at that thing that seems to be pretty strong too uh can we yank this out of the ground hello there we go Amber. Perfect. So we're actually finding quite a bit of amber now. Which will be really useful because it seems like that's actually pretty solid in terms of damage. We definitely don't want to fall down there yet. We got to get up. We have to make a little bridge to get up. What do we do here? Okay. Okay, I feel like I'm going to have to make a little ramp up. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't really see any other way up, so... I'm gonna put our little crafting minds to, to work here and see what we can do. Come on. Hello? Why isn't this... What is happening? Uh. All right. <laughs> there we go. Some of these trees are sh oddly shaped. It's not really the cleanest look I've ever uh, I've ever been able to achieve, but nonetheless, it should do the job as long as we can create some sort of ramp. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do here. It feels like that's like like how high did I just get that? I mean, okay, it's not as high as I thought. But we need to we need to pull this back down. It ain't ready yet. Okay, we need more. We need more. Almost out of cold resistance. I might take a big one here. Yeah, there we go. Ten minutes. Seven minutes and a half, seven and a half minutes. Combine it to this one. Take this. into that one take both of these or all of these we're getting there again. this is gonna look probably need what like two or three more I would think maybe not even that many like it's 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 tall, but I feel like we can. We'll try it with this one. If we need higher, then we'll uh, we'll get it. This might not even be what we're supposed to do, to be honest with you. But we're improvising because this is the way this game is played. You can literally do whatever the hell you want. All right, let's turn it. No. No. All right. No. Yes. <laughs> Improvise, baby. That's how you do it. Oh, hey. Wait, how do I throw my how do I throw my weapon again? There we go. Wait, did that break the weapon? No! No way that just broke that weapon. Uh-oh. Oh well. That kind of sucks. I didn't mean to do that. Arrow. Come on, turn. Yeah. Okay, so that worked. We're finally there. Let's go, baby. We made it work. When we come out, we got to go to that other side because there's some stuff up there. We can just use the same platform we just used. We finally, after, oops, after a long, long time yesterday, we have finally made it to the Gutenbach Shrine. Let's go, baby. These are all just going to be the same little animation, so we can just skip most of them. 
Do, 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 do. All right. No stone unturned. Here we go. Our third chamber. What's he going to give us this time? Oh. Ascend, move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it like a mm. teleporter? If it lets you travel through what's directly above you, to ascend through it and emerge on top. Okay. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Okay, that seems crazy. So it obviously has to be straight above you. But like right here. What? That is insane. Alrighty. Can I do it like here? What the frick? This seems OP. I knew there would be something there. Hey, a stone axe. That's nice because we just broke ours back. Oh, God. Damn, this ability, again, it has to be straightforward, but like. <laughs> Wonder how. I think this is not a teleport one. I think this one is I can just literally stack it. Wait, can I not like... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That doesn't seem right. Can I like attach this to the side of the wall? Well, oh, I'm I'm so dumb, guys. Holy, that might be the dumbest I've been in this game yet. I was like, wait, wait a minute. I can just pull those boxes. Jeez Louise. All right, well, like I said, some of the puzzles are fun. Some of them go way over my head. Can't carry any more of those, so let's get rid of one of these crap bows. There we go. Wow, I can't believe I just tried using boxes. That's so easy. Should probably pay attention to what I'm doing in these things because it's always going to be whatever whatever the ability you're using should be the one that works <laughs> this is cool this is nutty All right, let's go. That's going to be... I got to remember that we have that. This is going to be very useful. Oh, we can just skip this again. All right, let's go, baby.
Yeah, we can just skip this. It's just going to keep... But we can go to Zelda now. We can go to the temple and hopefully open it up now. She's. I'm willing to bet she ain't going to be there. I mean, knowing how these games kind of run. But we have finally made it through all three. Oh. I see you rested or restored some power to that new arm. Mm. The new doors the temple should now open for you. Yep, we knew that. Thanks. All right, so we should be able to get up here. Damn, this is this is this game just keeps getting better and better. Like I real like I, I was kind of mentioning in yesterday's or the video that we recorded yesterday that I really liked Breath of the Wild's intro, but I felt like it left a lot to be desired. Like the intro area was was pretty cool, but then it kind of just threw you into the weeds and was like, figure some stuff out. <laughs> so for me, like this is a, especially not playing one of these games for like six years. Archie Warm Greaves, let's go. That'll help us with our cold resistance. I just think it does a, a, a really good job of, wait a minute. Is that a glider? That looks like a glider and a bunch of run or a bunch of gliders in a runway. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember now. Oh, that like not playing this game for a significant period of time. Like it wasn't the end of the world, but like I, I just think it does a really good job of like reteaching you a lot of the things and then introducing all the new aspects to it. I think. I just think this is a very, very well thought out, well delivered intro to the game. So that's just my thoughts. But again, like. I was just swimming through time and space. Oh, I thought I had my shields ready. Should probably heal in case he smacks me again. Come on, attack me. No, they fell. Oh, well, I think we got to go back down there anyway. What's this? Ah, come on. Not what I thought it was, although I'm pretty sure you can attach that to a shield. Opal. I'm not actually that cold anymore, even without that resistance because of these boots. That's nice. All right, well, let's drop all these crap ones and pick up the construct bows because those are definitely, definitely better than the basic ones. Same with this. Drop that. Pick up all this stuff. Don't need the stone axe. So over here, it looked like there was a way down, but I'm not entirely sure if it leads to the same area. I think it does, but it's like cold water. Do we really want to go in cold water? Oh, I guess there's a landing landing part. All right, we got to get back to uh, back to Zelda here. Is this really where we go? I don't think it is. I think there's just another part. Nope, this was definitely not where we needed to go, but that's okay. Do a little bit of exploring every now and then. I guess this is one way down, but I saw those gliders. I feel like it would be really stupid not to use those gliders. The only problem is like, can I even get back now? Oh, I'd be so mad. Guessing I can't like teleport up through that.
Oh no. Oh no. No, there's no way I can climb that. Dang, dude, really? I want to use the glider so bad. I guess we can like... I don't think a ramp will be big enough with these few trees. No, there's only two pieces of wood here. Well, I think I missed my opportunity to go gliding. Unfortunately, that is a dumb mistake I just made. Dang, dude, now I'm sad. Right? Like, I don't see any way back up there. Dang. Oh, well. We learn and we move on. We'll go down the r rapid rivers. This is where curiosity gets the best of you. Is this even going to support me? I feel like I'm just dead. It'd be really nice if I could teleport up through here. I don't think I can. Doesn't look like it. Oh God. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, you do not want to go in that water and that did not support me. <laughs> All right, uh, hopefully it spits me back up top, but I don't know if it will. Good to know that there's nothing down there. Dang, dude. I think we're back up top. Okay, good, good, good. Exactly what we wanted, because I don't think there's a way down there with, with the stuff I currently have. Now, however, I really hope that I don't have to build this stupid thing again. Can I not just teleport like... No, I gotta build this whole damn thing again. Real? Oh well, wasn't that difficult. Yeah, there's no way I can jump up there. That's fine. our crafting brains to the test this mission is and yeah, definitely need a couple more <clears throat> Zelda's gonna be like what took you so long and I'm gonna be like well I tried going down a river on a on a two by two and then once that failed I had to build another bridge uh, up to a higher point even though I have a teleport skill now I don't think she's going to be in there, to be honest with you. She might, but she teleported out pretty quickly. If she is in there, then that's that's surprising. God. Uh. All right, we're back, baby. <laughs> Let's go towards the plains. Oh, uh, man. Oops. Whoa, swimming through the astral sea. All right. 
Let's go build ourselves a little plane, shall we? Oh, man. How do I do it? That's the question. I'm going to fail at this so bad. That's so interesting. This is a rarity. It's unusual for me to receive visitors here. Device dispenser? No, I already know what a device dispenser is. Sorry, one sec here, guys. All right, let's continue, baby. Don't need a device dispenser. I've got lots on me, so that's good. But this... Looks like we can put it under under here. Jump to it if it lets me. Holy. Another charge. Nice. We got a lot of charges now, which is good. You can also trade charges in for dispensed items, which is really nice. Lots of charges now. Let's go, baby. Anything good? Yep. Oh, so three of those things. That's nice. All right, let's uh, let's figure out how the heck we're gonna use this thing. That'll be the real question. Holy crap! All right, so. Let's go back down. We know we gotta uh, we gotta do some sort of propeller. I'm guessing. Oh, here we go. This guy might tell us. Hmm. The Zona devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many years. Oh. If you can master these Zona devices, you make. Okay. Well, thanks. So we gotta use this to glide down. I'm so nervous. I'm gonna. F this up on my very first try. No! Goodbye, sweet angel. Alright, let's put the thing on it first. Actually, I can probably just do it like right here. Wait, why is this moving? Come on, really? Okay, then we need, um, do you even need this on it? I'm going to put it on it. I don't know if we'll actually need it. I mean, I feel like that'll add a little bit of what we need into it. Here we go, baby. Wait a minute. <laughs> Dang it. All right, well, I thought we needed this on it, but I guess we don't. To infinity and beyond. Oh my gosh. Oh, hard left. Hard left, you're countering my weight. You're countering my weight, bro. Oh, we're going down. Oh, we failed that stupid. No, yet. Yeah, no. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that stupid wheel just screwed up that entire flight. Goodbye, <laughs> sweet princess. <laughs> oh, no. That's when, uh, that's when... That's when I've been uh, a little, a little wrong in my design element there. Let's try that. Uh, let's try that again. Put that in the middle of the runway, and let's not have a counterbalance this time. Here we go. This time's gonna work. 
to infinity and beyond. Oh God, here we go. Woo! Oh, damn. Oh, I'm totally going to miss landing this again. Just land safely. Oh, God, we're coming in too hot. Oh. Nailed it. Stuck the landing. Never a doubt. No way was I getting it on this, this staircase. Very right, easy. Was never, ever a question in my mind. That first attempt was so stupid. So I guess you can't really... You might be able to at some point, but that landing spot, like where we took off... We, we couldn't fit the gear, or not the gear, the wheel. Propeller blade thing. Fan. That's the word I think they call it. These stones are ag aggressively bright. All right, Zelda. We have finally made it back to the Temple of Time. It only took us three hours to do that, that intro mission. <laughs> but hey, we, we run at our own speed. Now we can officially, hopefully, enter. Hopefully, it doesn't spit us out again. Hey! Okay. That's the thing that attacked Ganon, right? At the beginning, but it was like tiny. What the? Okay, new power. I knew she wasn't going to be there. Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse moment at any time. Okay. Hmm. Recall ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was some sort of echo. One that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. That you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Okay, so we can use that to get up in this little area. All right, all right, all right, all right. What if we...
That is very, very interesting. That is very unique. I like that a lot. Any chests on the side? Get off! Whoa, there's some crazy abilities with this hand in this game. Once you master like the the, the snappiness of it, it's gonna become really, really interesting to, to navigate. That's it? She just smiles upon me? Okay. Goddess statue smiles upon you. Okay. Do I not have enough life to do this? Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not strong enough yet to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get to another blessing. Oh. You add to the other blessings, you receive the shrines and offer them to all the goddess. You might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Let me see the Pura Pad. Pure pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Okay, that's what I was. Now see all the blue marks on your map. You can travel instantly to any of them. I'd suggest the one at the bottom of your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly, or find and find the. Okay. Interesting. So fast travel is now unlocked. That's good. Is he gonna heal me? He only healed me back one. What? How do I use the pure pad again? Oh, there we go. Uh, map. Room of Awakening. That's handy. I was wondering when that was going to come in. For like an introductory island, this is, this is quite long. The Great Sky Island. Okay. Well, now we can do this thing. This is what I wanted to do last time we were here. I should have probably waited a little bit. Wait, how do I even get up there? That doesn't seem right. I have to, like... I don't even know if there's anything up any of these. So it doesn't look like I can reach it from this platform. No, I, I, I definitely can't reach that from this platform. Or if I can, I'm doing it wrong, so. Maybe a secret's up there, maybe it's not. I don't really see any other way up there. I'm pretty sure eh, there might be like some sort of dash I can do later on, but. Is this the right way I should have teleported? He did say take the last one, which is what I did. Yeah, very, very lengthy. I was going to say uh, it's taken me combine this video with last my last 20 minutes of last video because I was just dead tired and I just <laughs> I just was playing like crap. Um, I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go. Actually, I probably do have to figure out that puzzle, and that's where the last shrine is. In fact, I know that's what it's going to get me to do. Because I can't get above here. Yeah, I'm stupid. I am stupid. I got to I gotta go up here to the Room of Awakening, right? And this is... Yep. It's going to be in that cave. I just got to figure out how to do it. But anyway, what I was going to say was... If you could take off the last 20 minutes and combine these two videos, we're probably looking at close to three hours now on this island. And that's not that bad. Like, it's probably a little bit longer than some people. We, we explored a lot and things like that. But um, I've seen other people. I've watched the intro uh, up until where we are a few times now just to, to see how other people are finding it. And um, it's roughly the same. So just a long intro is, is not a bad thing by any means. <laughs> This 
is definitely where I need to go. Hmm. I don't entirely know how to get up there, though. It's like, can I climb? What am I? Can I like j jump dash on it? There you go. Now that the dash is working correctly, you can actually do that. That's nice. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. I'm bad at this game. happening oh you can only turn one of them it's ah, i'm stupid i turned it off too soon i see what's happening it's one gear turning the other one it's only one gear control no why did i i'm so bad <laughs> oh this is the part of the zelda games where my my boomer brain can't function properly all right, Mike, you got this. Stop being a nerd. Or start being a nerd, rather. There we go. That's all it took. Jeez. This should lead us to the third temple or shrine. There we go. The Choya. What do you got for me? Anything cool? This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. What are energy wells? Can increase the capacity of your energy cell you are carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zona. Yeah, that'd be great. Begin producing a hundred crystalline charges. Holy. Okay. Well, well, we know to come back to you when we have a hundred of those damn things. Makes sense. I wouldn't expect it to be too little. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty significant upgrade. We're just gonna have to remember where all these things are. All right, we found the final shrine on this island. The Sky Island. The ability to rewind. Whoa, this is tripping my brain out. The water is going one way and we're forcing this Oh, wait, there's another one. This is so trippy. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. All right, so we obviously know what we need to do there. This is awesome. I really like this ability. Oh. 
finally more arrows let's go that is what we needed that's a good chest right there okay So having them separated like that doesn't do anything. There we go. Just got to get them to go together. Cool, 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 cool. Probably just skip this. It's always just the same little thing and it gives you the little light of the blessing. So we do have four light of the blessings now. So theoretically... We should have enough to, to bless that statue. I'm going to guess she's going to give us a heart, maybe, because we need vitality to open that door, and three definitely was not enough. This is interesting. I, I really like I really like this game so far. I know I've probably said it a few too many times, but it is very, very... It's a very interesting change they've made with this hand. I mean, I guess, couldn't we just theoretically, like, teleport off here? Is there even a way, way to teleport up there? Eh, not really. I mean, there is, but it's not like super. We'll just do it the old fashioned way with a little bit of a glider. These gliders are awesome. This is so much fun. Oh, we can pretty much just go straight down. Oh, I almost fell off. A long way down. Holy, we were up high. Probably would have been smarter to... Um, to use the teleporter, but... What does that mean? Maybe, maybe before this thing just gives out. <laughs> I wonder if I needed a uh, fan on that one to help propel it down faster. Cause we just caught that wind and it did like nothing. Well, well we're going to have to figure out those, uh, those t um, gliders a little bit more. That was by far the hardest of the, uh, the Zonai powers or contraptions to, to figure out. Not that it was necessarily hard. It was just, not quite, not quite the same. That's all right. We're not far from this, this guy here. We will have to go around. I mean, I could create something to get us up on there, but I mean, it's just as easy to go down here. All right. It'll be interesting once we make it to um, Hyrule, like the, the kingdom. Been a really cool sky island though i really like it i saw people online complaining that the graphics were the same like one like nintendo switch can handle any more graphics <laughs> and two it's a direct sequel like it takes place literally almost like i don't even think it said it was like that long after it's like, what do you mean it's it's bad crap? Like, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the graphics in general. Like, it's still not my favorite. 
but it's not like you can get graphically more graphically intense with what the switch is capable of uh, that's just silly for people to be like only nintendo can get away with this and charge this much money after it's like yeah but unless nintendo switch creates new hardware the companies literally can only do what they can do and just be thankful that a new game came out as big as this and remains like able to run because when like i said when this game kind of got announced the biggest fear was that it was just not going to run very well and i i don't know i might be speaking too soon or, or not have enough experience we'll see what happens when i get into hyrule but right now this seems to be running pretty pretty freaking good is it perfect no but is it is it good enough for what nintendo switch is capable of absolutely all right here we go made it back She's glowing now. What do you got for me? You have conquered the shrines and claimed the light. Exchange four lights and blessing for a heart container. Absolutely. All right, there you go. Four for one heart. <laughs> and we got our fourth heart. Whoa, weird. That power looked... Kind of like Ganondorf. Heart container, a rare item that restores some life and forces you lost to the gloom. Increases your maximum heart by one. Hey, we're like not even a quarter of the way to max hearts, but we did it. Now, let's see if we can open the door. Come on, Link, you got this, baby. You got this. Oh, God, it's going to kill me. I did it. It looked like I lost all my health, but I did it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You are almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Well, thanks for your arm and Inside thanks for your powers. Said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. All right, well, it was nice to meet you too, and I will take care of your arm. <laughs> uh... Let's go. Oh, I know what I can use here. This is the thing. I'm gonna have to remember like all of the freaking abilities. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Once you understand like all of the abilities you can have, because it looks like there's potentially even more. Like, how many slots are there? There's three more slots. So once you figure out all the different things and you know really get them flowing, I feel like the movement in this game is going to be exceptional. Don't get me wrong. I still wish. I still hope we get the the little uh, what's her name? Apona. Any horse for that matter. Oh, it's 
glowing again. going back in time. You just gave her the master sword. What an introduction, man. Phenomenal. The to the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, well. Well, I didn't, I didn't mean to just, I didn't just mean to. Do a little uh, dive see poo like I just did, but doesn't look like you can move very far anyway. Huh. I'm guessing you were supposed to hit water. That, uh... It wasn't supposed to happen. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, frick. Don't hit a lily pad. All right, we, we safely touched Touchdown in Hyrule. All right. That was one hell of an introduction and one hell of a little starting zone. Hey, bud. Oh, not these little butts. Your Amber Reaper's badly damaged. Why do you have so many apples on him? Bokoblin. Bokoblin. Sharp horn with multiple barbs attached to a weapon to increase its attack power. Dope. Alright, well, we gotta... I guess we just gotta head towards... Uh, Hyrule there, yeah? Why does this look like I can make a carriage? No way, dude. <laughs> Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use these materials cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Why does this feel like it's going to be a dope little carriage? Oh, 
<laughs> no way. What the? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This didn't attach the way I wanted it. Okay, what if I... What if I put this down first and put these on top? That's probably a smart way of doing it. Um... I don't know how to make a carriage. Are you kidding me? This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Okay, oh, we're getting somewhere. But I don't even have a horse to pull this. Oh well, we're figuring we're figuring out how to build a carriage so if we ever need it. We ever need it, we know we got it. I don't think I attached that. That kind of looks like a carriage. Got it. I love every second of it, man. What the? Oh yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. But I don't. I don't even have anything to build. Like to. All right. We're gonna come back once I get a horse. This is gonna be a damn carriage, and it's gonna be the best thing we've ever made. Eventually, we'll find a horse. Damn, the castle looks sick after... What was his name? Ganon... Like, the, it was the Calamity. Gan, Ganon what? I can't remember what his name was. Ganon the Eternal or Ganon... I, you know what I'm talking about. The big snake Ganon. There's so many... So many materials here. Although, I feel like this could also just turn into a house right here. Yeah, come find us if you need your building needs. Oh, pretty long way up there, isn't it? Hey, guys. Why is... Oh boy. Gotta get, gotta get used to shooting. It's not that difficult, but it's... I'm just not used to the arrow. Remember, we have motion control turned on at the moment simply just because, you know, in order to... Grab a Boko shield for sure. 
Might actually put... Man, I keep pressing the wrong buttons today. Definitely put the Boko shield on and... Try and find a rock to attach to it. Motion control until I find my... my I know I have a pro controller. I bought it. I bought it when I was trying to play the first game. I still know where I did. I've moved so many times since the last time I played. Hey, bud. It's badly damaged already. I guess I have had this weapon for a while. Okay. Probably should take some of these food here. That's fine. That's enough for now. Uh, we'll attach this to my Boko shield. Give it a little bit of a hiya. Getting, getting the hang of the controls again is, uh, it's not the easiest thing in any video game. Switching back to a, an, a, like, I've been using a PS5 controller for, you know, Star Wars, and I've been using it for PGA Tour. So to switch to, not that the controller's that bad, but the thumbsticks are really small and very sensitive. And then on top of that, A and B are reversed. Like, everything is the opposite for some reason. Alright, we're... we're we're headed to the part where Zelda zoomed in on and said, help me, find me. So that's what we're doing. Oh, big boy over there. There is so many things in this game. It is absolutely wild how big this game is. I roll herb. That's perfect. We can use that for cooking. Another one here. Might as well grab it. We are a little warm. But it is still worth two, so as long as we don't get hot. As long as we don't start getting hot, I'll keep this uh, keep this out for now. Figured that was gonna break, so let's grab this. And then, what was the new thing we got? We could put a Captain Construct horn on it. Ah, let's try it. There's a lot of things we still need to experiment with to figure out uh, what the best thing is. So until we figure that out. Okay, so that adds plus. Wait, what is that? It's a nine. So that adds plus five. That's actually really solid. Man, Hyrule looks so sick since the destruction. Hello. Link? Mr. Link? Is that really you? Where have you been? Uh... Dead. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been worried about both of you. Pura has barely slept. She went... Oh, well. Guess what? Uh... Moment Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Please, hurry there. Beautiful. We're home. Look out landing. We will... Uh... Actually, let's go have a peek first. Let's see what these, these guys... Mm. Oh. Don't know if I can even afford any of these. I don't have any rupees, so that's definitely never going to happen. So we got to find... Isn't that what they're called in this game? Rupees? Oh. I'm right in the middle of giving out some orders. So whatever you need, it's gonna have to, What? Is that really you? Link, you've returned! I've got to say that's a relief to see that you're safe. I'm Graylands, head of the monster control crew, but we can talk more later. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Alright, let's uh let's do this in order then. It's probably gonna get us to come back to some of these things later anyway. I don't believe it. Hey bud. No Link! Whoa, 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 what have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with her? Please go to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Stop the laying. Gotta go talk to Pira. She's up in the tower with the telescope. What? Da, 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 Dr. Pira, the swordsman, the swordsman has returned.
<laughs> I love it. The glasses. Okay. Now, where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Oh, Pura. Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? I like it. I like it. Sometimes we just gotta go out on adventures. No. So when oh. you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. Correct. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rauru. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Pretty much hit it on the head. What? What? Yeah, we fell from up there. <laughs> uh. The first king of Hyrule was named. Are you the one and the same so much that doesn't make sense yet? But I'm certain the mummy you found in the castle must be related to the upheaval. Definitely. Hmm. That looks so dope. Castle rising up, then fall, falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. Then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs your mm -hmm. help. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet up with the search party beneath the castle. Up by the castle. Okay. Pause. Yes. All right, Pira, we'll go, uh, we'll go. Head of the lookout. Perfect. To the kingdom of Hyrule complete. All right, all right. Well, uh, we don't have any rupees or anything, so, I mean, there's really no point in talking to any of the villagers until we start getting some much-needed coinage. Little town looks great. We're finally back with some friendly faces. Friendly faces everywhere. Okay, not too far here. I don't remember, because didn't they used to have the towers that, like, unveiled the location? I don't really see those. I mean, unless... It doesn't quite look like the same same thing, does it? No, those aren't... Those aren't the same towers that, like... I don't think they are anyway. Those might be the new version of the towers where you, like, kind of unlock what it, what it looks like. Like, what the area is looking like. I guess we'll find out. I'm sure it's going to show us that. And if not, well, it's up to us to explore. Yeah. The mummy, a.k.a. Matt Mercer, a.k.a. Ganondorf. Hyrule Castle Town Roots. I remember getting to Hyrule Castle in Zelda 64, and that was, like, such a fun experience. Get over here, Salamander! I remember 64 like it was... Nobody's business. Hey, there's another uh, power thing here. There's probably so many things that I can, like, explore and build. And right now, we don't have a lot of guidance, so. Oh, he's. They're right in that castle. Do we stop and do this? I feel like we stop and do this. This looks like people trying to rebuild. 
person over there. Anybody here? I'm gonna go talk to this person over here. Oh, ack. oh no. That's a sign, brother. I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. No idea who Mr. Hudson is. He's the president of the construction company. Oh, he's the one appointed by the princess herself. Gotcha. She's placed him in charge of putting those materials caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of the Hudson Construction. Besides all that. Uh. Hey, I'm right in the middle of the president's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? The president gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I've got so many more signs to spread. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just leave it. So we gotta... Like, there's so much material and stuff here. We just gotta find the construction team to, like, understand what it is that, like... That obviously looks like some sort of carriage, but I'm guessing you can't really push or carry, like, pull the carry, the, the carriage, without a horse, I'm guessing. This looks like an unlit fire. A lit fire. All right, well, we got another shrine here. You scared me. Chasm is near, it's dangerous, you know. For all I know, the shrine could be dangerous, too. I'd say most things are dangerous. What is the chasm? Oh. You ever know the creepy opening in the ground? Ever since that people, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard the members from the research team went, yeah, we gotta go meet them there. Oh. I already know about the shrines. I know. I know pleb. Might as well do it. See if it unlocks a new power for us. I guess we keep forgetting we can skip all this because the animation is just the same. Wait, is the dude going to talk to us then? I don't know if he'll be be in here. He kind of said goodbye, although he might appear down here. Combat training. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. The shrine purifies the ancient. You have entered. Heed my instruction. Okay. These guys are crazy looking. Use side hop to avoid the enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can strike back. Target enemy. Strafe. Jump. Yeah, yeah. We that. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Oh, so it's all timing. That, that's what it was before. I, I could never remember, like, what triggered the... There we go. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike an opening and create a... Yeah, okay. So this is what I was talking about in the first video. Like, I haven't really figured out how to do it, but it's... Oops, that was bad. Jesus, I suck. Okay, Michael. Come on. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch the enemies in motion to damage them. Press and hold Y, release Y. Cool. Not my cleanest effort, especially on the parry, but 
So that's what I was trying to remember how to do in the first video. So I'm glad that uh, the first try in there kind of just teaches you how to do some pretty basic stuff. So I think we can finally use all that normally parry, you know, the little uh, flurry, I think is what they call it. What we get? Ooh, a Zonite sword. I don't think I have, do I have room for the Zonite sword? Oh, I have two more spaces. Can this be equipped with anything? I feel like I can't really equip anything to this. Uh, drop that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that looks dope. I'm going to use some of my lower damage ones to free some room up because as we progress, we're probably going to get more and more. So we got another one of those uh, Light of the Blessing. So we need three more of those before we can grab another heart. But that's definitely good to start getting those. Might as well do those shrines every time we see them. Uh, they're probably going to be a billion everywhere. All right. We're, uh, we're flowing through now, baby. Now we can go meet up with the crew that's uh, adventuring into underneath the Hyrule thingamabobber. All right, so let's put on, we have a five damage thing here. Might as well equip that and use that for a little bit. You look a little scared over here. What's going on? Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been watch duty this whole time. I didn't even see mm. you. You should report to him right away. Mm. Copy. Copy, copy. Yeah, that, they did a good job with this castle. Uh, like the, what it looks like, all the waterfalls and all the smoke and everything. The Ganon power. Wait, is this the way we go? Like, this is the only way in, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in. Not from there. Huh. Pearl Castle, Pure Believes that Princess Zelda, yeah. Question is, how do I get through the main gate? We can sneak around it. <laughs> huh? Who's there? Ooh. He doesn't realize Ooh. I'm Link. There you go. I had no idea that you returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need a search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are just keep telling me that I need to talk to Captain Haas. I'm working on it here. So that's really good that they uh, they did that tutorial because I probably would have gone a long time trying to remember how to do it. Music is so fantastic. Yeah, there's shrines everywhere. I see one right there. What a good view from up up on uh, Hyrule. Are you capped? Are you Haas? Whoa. Link? No, it can't be. I can't follow anyone past here. Ah. Allow anybody. The area is restricted. Yeah, but... I'm also Link. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we can like, we'll probably get sent back in there to see if we can find the mummy or inf any information on him. Guessing I can't go in there, so I'm not even gonna bother. This is the first one. I know you're not Taz. Yes, I am the spitting image because I'm him. Ooh, a traveler shield. Nice. Wait, I can't carry more shields. Okay, let's drop, let's drop this garbage rock one. We'll take a traveler shield and then we'll steal the rock. <laughs> Wait, probably can't steal the rock off it once it's merged. All right, that's fine. Wait. Is 
there anything actually up here? Or did I just come up here for no reason? Probably came up here for no reason. Are you Taz? You don't look like Taz. Oh. Nope. Mm. On top of the gatehouse. So every other guy is saying that he's just the... Oh, dang it. He's the next man up the road. Or next person up the road. And then every person that I talk to is like, nah, they're further up. First gatehouse. Here we go. Except I don't see a Taz. Are you Taz? Oh. Herpin. Weapons here are all decayed too. I wonder if there's anywhere to enact weapons left behind in the world. What weapons? Mm. Hey, it's a new face. Uh. During that people, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name, suddenly decayed. Just like my master sword. Mm. Okay, well. A torch. That's nice. Probably need that for caves at some point. How do I get up? Is there a stair uh, ladder anywhere? What's this? Soup ladle! <laughs> what do I do here? Of course, Link can climb this crazy wall. Wait, is this even where we want to be? Where the heck is Taz? Pause? I'm confused. I'm confused. Where is he? Oh. During that people, yeah. I have experimental research that might be so I can find out. At this point, I'd be surprised if there are any intact. Mm. They're also real parents, so if the best thing to do is strengthen them. Yeah, I know. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to wait? Wait till morning, I guess? See if he comes down? The... the the objective thing was pointing here, but it didn't say what I had to do. So I'm guessing I just had to wait. Is he here? 5 a.m. He's not here. All right. Legitimately do not know where to go. But it didn't it say like he was up there. I'll never do what I can help other person. If he doesn't come down from the gatehouse soon, maybe I'll go up to the captain myself. Okay, so he's in the gatehouse. He's looking up. There he is. That's got to be him right there. If that's not him, then I don't know. Okay, I already know about this. I'm going to guess that's him way the heck up there. So if that's him, then we go inside. We climb... We go inside here. Is there a staircase up or something? There is none. I mean, we could build something here if we really wanted, but... That looks like a captain right there. Finally. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive. Of course I am. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Not quite. Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling it to you? I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continue our search for Princess oh. Zelda. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We need some. We needed some good news. Oh, it's Princess Zelda. Wait, what? Hmm. What in the frick is going on with her? She's 
just going back up into the sky? Huh? Hmm? So she's usually obviously using her powers, but you saw Princess Zelda turn in the light and fly off. Yep. How strange. This is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw and we'll take a bit. All right. That's probably a good idea because what in the heck? Zelda's just phasing out like crazy, man. All right. Can I just TP back to... Should be able to, yeah? Ah. I can travel to there. All right. So... Zelda's like watching us and then like phasing out. Seems a little weird. Yeah, I mean, in the intro, she obviously used what is it? Is does she also have control over the Triforce power? Is that what it's called, or does she have something different? But either way, she kind of just beam me up, Scotty. There. I wonder if there's a place in town that we can um, we can unlock. Not that this is that far by any means, but. I love how everybody's confused and I'm like just as confused. Like, she's like, come find me. Then we find her and she's like, peace. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? It's a prey thing. Wait, I can just take these? There's no way, right? <gasps> yep, sorry. I, I'm not robbing. I Ow. swear. <laughs> uh. Robbie, head of Pura Pad Development. What's up, boss? Ah. So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura talking about it. Hmm, I see. Nope, now's not the time. All right. Oh. Okay, so this guy is gonna give us some. Uh, I will head back to the lab in Hateno. Hatno? I don't even know how to say half these things. So once you're able to finish, you should join me there. Robbie's profile has been added, and we have a potential lead on some more missions. Hero, we're back. Did you find anything? Well, you see. Huh? Yeah. She was. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you tell me that that's what you saw, then I've got to believe you. Hmm. All right, beautiful. We'll pick up the clues around. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go investigate some of the upheaval stuff. It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning. Map, map, map. Ooh. <gasps> There we go. So that tower, I'm guessing, will give us an advantage point. <laughs> so they're kind of the same. I mean, you had those like, yeah, I mean, it, it almost looks the exact same before you had the, I can't remember what they called them, but they had the um, the other towers that basically did the same thing. I see a cave back there with a skull on the front. <sighs> Yeah, well, we're going to have to climb it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So we'll go rest, get some kitchen, <gasps> talk to the soldier wa who's watching over there. Everything from the center, uh, right where the emergency shelter is kept. You need clothes for your travel. I don't have any rupees mm -hmm. unless you're going to give me some. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So now it's telling us to, you know, explore. We don't have any money, unfortunately. 
but we can still go talk to some people, head to the shelter. And then I'm guessing once we go up that tower, it should very well, should very well give us uh, the map. Oh. My name is Scorpius. If you have any questions about the place at all, come to me. Okay, oh. now please allow me to open the emergency shelter. me very secure boys and girls that's cool though damn ah this underground vault used by an emergency shelter for the royal family now make okay feel free to make yourself at home if you want ah. Link, welcome welcome call me monty you find me as employee gatekeeper of this fine establishment Please stay as long as you want. Okay, perfect. Hi. Don't really need to rest, to be honest with you. Didn't they say I had a kitchen and I could like grab supplies if I wanted to? Boko Reaper? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's see what we can drop. I mean, we got a torch and a ladle. I don't really need the ladle. Um, don't really need this, to be honest with you. So we'll take that. That looks like a trap. Oh, it's actually not a bad one. It is rusted, though. That's fine. It's still better than what we got. That's a cool looking sword. Hey, who are you? Oh. I'm a nose down, so I don't know what happened half the time around me. This is pretty involved. Okay. Ah. Uh. If I pour so much energy trying to fix them, but it's no use. Decayed. Oh. Yep. Uh. Other than just forming them with, oh. uh... You're welcome to weapons over there. Oh, I already took them, but thanks. We got a kitchen. Oh. Hey, you're new here. Bermano. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix. That'll rev you right up. Yeah, but I was really fucking sick. <laughs> I'm blowing out of apples. I have some apples. Here. Take my apple. Let's go, baby. The little music things they add while you're doing crafting is actually, and cooking is so fun. <laughs> Calling it Bermano's Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. There we go. Beautiful. A new recipe. I like to make a deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. All right. Where can I make some? Right here? All right. So we need a... Do we have a mushroom? I don't even have a... Oh, I guess I have... I guess this is just any mushroom. It didn't really specify. Cook. Cook. Fruit and mushroom mix. Perfect. We did it. Is that it? I'm guessing it's complete. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the ingredients. You really saved my behind. Now I can give the... Okay, perfect. All right, sick. What kind of food do we have? Like, is there anything else we can really like... Let's go. We got quite a bit of food. Mysterious can attach to an arrow. Yeah, yeah. We don't really have a lot of food, to be honest with you. So we really need to start, like, harv harvesting some or hunting. We do have a lot of peppers. Actually, we got some meat we can we can throw in there. Nope. There we go. Meat skewer, a big juicy one. All right, perfect. Uh, anybody else got some? These guys don't have any quest markers beside them, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. We'll head back up. Don't have any uh, money to go shopping for any new equipment or anything, so I think we'll just head to the Sky Tower. 
get that unlocked, maybe head out to where we need to go for the fishers, and that'll probably be a good spot to rest for the uh, for this part. I mean, we completed a lot. We finished the uh, the Sky Island. We managed to get down into Hyrule, and uh, now we're looking pretty. We got some areas to explore. Uh huh. That should do it. She's gonna make me climb it. I know it. Hey, Link, you're all set. I just wrapped up. Travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Here we go. Hey! Just pull the switch. Hey! Oh, boy. Is it actually going to work? I feel like it's not. Let's lit up. So much this is just such a great like that's the thing is like i wasn't a fan of some of the mechanics in the first game like regardless of how well the story was or anything like that but um i i mean something there's just something very magical about zelda in general like uh, any game dating back to you know as far back as you possibly can can remember um and i don't know it's it, whether it's the music or just the characters or what it is it just all feels yeah. very it reminds me a lot of when the games we played as a, as a kid. Mm -hmm. Go hold the pier pad over the terminal. Okay. So this is a teleportation pad. Nice. So we can TP back here. That's good. I'm surprised it's not making me climb that. Or it's not yet. All right, the Sky Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now fast travel. Beautiful. <laughs> so we definitely want to spend some time unlocking some of the Sky View Towers. The primary function is to survey the area, or simply put, to make a map. Pyropad works with the Sky View Tower and scans the topography directly onto your map. Uh huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here has what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this. Which brings me, give me the paraglider. Yes! Let you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate. Let's <laughs> go. Ah. Just step over there into the circle and after, okay, perfect. Ah. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need you to update your map of the places where the upheaval has wrecked, wreaked its habit. Best of luck. All right. Beautiful. Let's go. Uh, probably not the, uh, the safest little approach. Incredibly, incredibly well thought out. Oh my god! This is not at all what I thought it was. Weeeew! This is awesome. Oh, cool. <clears throat> there we go. Now we got our map, baby. Sky map updated. And let's return safely to the Earth, shall we? Nope. Oh, this is great. That is not at all what I was expecting for the uh, Skyview Towers. That's so much fun. 
All right, beautiful. So we got we got our first chunk of the map unlocked. Okay. Now we can talk to her. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Sure did. Huh. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a view a point at hmm. visiting them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. Reports of other strange phenomenon have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's talk about the luck at your map. Okay. So the first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden in the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's a Lanari Lanairu to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got Negan suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Phenomena? Phenomena? Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda in Raido Village. Hmm. Sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and pr before I forget... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about that goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Raido Village. If you do go there, you should speak with our editor. All right, cool. So we definitely got some leads going on now. We got four possible leads with some weird things happening. And then we got Raido Village. Yeah. Kind of, you check out the major phenomena. Phenomena. I guess that's it. That's how you spell phenomena? Phenomena? Phenomena. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we got some leads now. Wait, you got something to say? What do you got? Sorry, can't talk right now. There's something I had to assess with goggles. Wait, but you had... Okay. Alright, so we got some things to do. Um, So where is Raido Village? I don't remember anything, man. All right. Which one do we want to go to first? There's so many where we could go. What's this guy? Look at this. Oh, it's this dude. Yes. Oh, I saw this guy in a preview. What a boss. Hmm. I am the famous swordsman. Oh. Better get to work on our newspaper. Ah. <laughs> okay, so northwest is where uh, he, uh, base of Hebra to the northwest is. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Raido Village. All right, so that's where we got to go is, is the... See ya, bud. Uh, so to the northwest is where we need to go for that. Are we just watching him fly away? All right, so to the northwest. I think Raido Village is out here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think we're gonna go to this one first. I think that's, I think that's the one we're gonna try and go to. So, we'll probably make our way over there, and that'll be a good spot to kind of, kind of wrap up this video. But I mean, man, this is, this is so much fun. All right, so let's make sure we're on the right path. We are. All right. I'm sure there's gonna be so many things we, we can explore on our way there. I don't know how many I'll probably do right now. Like I said, I'm kind of, we're on the tail end of this video. I don't really wanna spend a, a ton more time kind of like we did last night and get sidetracked. So I think for now, Oh, rupees. Get him. Oh, he disappeared. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go in there just yet. We'll, we'll definitely come back. I mean, we got lots of time to explore. We're going to do as much as we can. Like I said, this is this is probably going to be a pretty long series. So I think for right now, I probably could have taken that sky thing and gone up, but that's, you know what? Not the end of the world. Little fort over there. 
that was a really good in like I, i've said it so many times but that was a really good introduction and kind of an interesting start to the castle really don't know what it means that zelda to spirit obviously she's using her powers come here what are you throwing at me fire fruits oh god hi tail lizard nice oh my shield broke or burn it may have just actually burned Can we put... Yeah, we can. There we go. We'll make that plus one. Okay, this is a big staging area. You're gonna have to figure out what all this means. Here's this guy again. <laughs> What's up, bud? Ah. Oh, it's the guy from before. I'm putting up precedent here. I can't stand here forever. Oh my goodness. I know what to do. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. You gonna support him? All right, let him go. Here. Ah. No, 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 let me, let me, oh, come on, let me stand it up. I can stand it up for you, bro. <laughs> Is there, like, something I can do to help support this poor bastard? What's this thing? Farming hoe, that could be, that could cause some damage. That looks pretty nice. What don't I like? That's almost dead. That's a seven. Let's just drop this. This is standard Reaper. The farming hoe combined with something could be real nice. I don't know how to like support this. What if I like grab one of these? Uh, you can't combine. I thought you could like combine it with this thing. What happens now? I can't even talk to him again. All right, well, now we got rain. Oh, I see another uh, another trial up there. I might do that quickly as well. Yeah, we're headed that way. Raido Village, I believe, is on the way, so we'll probably stop there. But I think I'm going to do as many of these, uh, these challenges along the way, just so, one, I don't forget about them. Two, it'll help, you know, with the game. It'll obviously make, you know, certain things going forward a lot easier. I mean, I don't entirely know how to get up there. Probably need to glide up there, to be honest with you. So maybe, maybe we don't get up there just yet. I don't think I can climb up there. Holy crap, that scared me. Yeah, I, I sadly don't think I can actually, unless the back way here, there might be a way up the back. Not gonna spend a lot of time because we'll start heading towards that tower. Eh, this looks pretty difficult. Although, although if I can climb this, I can probably use the ability. Mm, it's slippery when wet, that's the only thing. Yeah. Oh, we made it. No. No. Haha. -ha. We got it. Had to get it while we were sliding, but we made it up. Hey, some wheels here. Ishadog. All right, might as well do this quickly. Like I said, these usually don't take too long. They'll help us in our travel. So another teleportation point, which is which is huge. You want to fill your map up with those as much as possible. Let's see what this one is. Last one was a training combat. This one, probably something somewhat similar. And it will get us another one of those uh, orbs, a windy device. So we're going to be building something here. Okay. So I see a fan. Huck. 
Woo! Oh, that's cool. Okay. This just looks like a straight hovercraft. This is, I love, I think this is my favorite thing about this game right now, is the crafting. This is kind of interesting because I don't entirely know. I don't entirely know how I get this. <laughs> what? I'm not heavy enough? What if I bring that up? That's a very interesting way I just did that. I did not I did not plan for that. I was trying to put the weight on this side to counter it. That works! That works! That's hella hella interesting. Okay. So I mean this looks like it can be done in a number of ways. Like, could I not? Could I not do this? Apparently that's not enough.
Yeah, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Does that have to go on the side? Wait a minute. What? How did that happen? Whatever. We figured it out. I don't... Oh, do you have to stack them? Is that why? Because they're stacked on one side? A little weird. I, I don't understand why two on... One on each side didn't fully work, but we'll take it and we'll gain... We'll gain the little health thing here. I do like the crafting. I think it is a very unique and interesting way. I've said it multiple times, but getting around the map was always kind of... You either had your horse or you were slow as a, like AF, and I think... The ability to craft some things, well, it's not always impactful or it's not always the thing to do. I think it does add a very unique way of traversing the map. And I'm sure, like I said, once you figure out switching between all the different things, it'll be uh, it'll be really fluid and really, really fun. All right, so we have a teleportation thing here. What are we at? 2 211. I would really like to get... Would love to get to at least to the little village we're trying to find. So let's just continue. That's a tree. That's a tree. Here's the bridge. I don't need to fight a tree right now. Come on. Oh, hey. Hey, bud. Are you going to let me pass? You're going to let me pass, yeah? I do not want to fight you just yet. Because, A, I don't even know how to fight you. I remember from the first game that you fought big guys with certain things. But, Toasty, Hylian room eh, we'll just steal your stuff and we'll move on you keep sleeping there buddy no problem bye bye <laughs> another rupee thing over here i don't know if i can get close to it to swing at it Yeah. Hey. What do you got in there? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I've already killed the bobble frogs. I know what they're like. He he didn't look like he had a, he had a quest, so. Just how far is that? I guess we can mark it. What? Why did it? Wait, why did it? All right, so it's not that far to get to that thing, but this does look like the village here, or at least a little, uh, little resting point. I think this is probably a really good spot. Grab these herbs. We'll do some cooking and stuff and prepare for next time. Lady Impa. Ooh. Kado. I heard you and Princess Zelda gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well, but where's Princess Zelda? Yeah, she kind of turned Ooh. into Spock. Peaced out. Since that is the case, Link, I encourage you to go speak Lady Impa. All right. She is Ooh. over there. I believe that she may have some useful information in search of Zelda. Perfect. Impa and the geo geoglyphs. Yeah. New serene stable. Oh, a customer. Folks don't usually drop by this late at night. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like, you can use the stable. Use a, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? <laughs> After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Yes, fix your upper, but I can replace the. Uh, then I can just have to watch a wild horse to take hook up to the wagon. I'll be set. Hey. Ah. 
If you catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There are lots of them around here, as a matter of fact. It's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch down and sneak up to them or they'll run away. Yeah, same thing. Even after you do catch one, you have to soothe the horse or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Fine. Don't offer to help. Yeesh. Do I look like I can fix a horse on my own? No, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll put the... I'll put the... Hey, bud. But well, we are going to... Uh, we're going to call it right here. We'll fix up the, uh, the wagon and the horse at some point. Can I talk to you? There you go. Hey. Stop for sundown, eh? Uh -huh. Welcome to my stable. Yep. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but how much money are you uh -huh. gonna charge me, boss? Now, would you like to tell me about the stable system? Sure. Yeah. You can board your horse and companions with us and summon them as you please from a network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during uh. your travel. Oh. I do not have that much money. Sorry, sir. Ah. That's right. It's a reward system. You can use the stable in it. In short, every time you you use the service, you get points. No matter where you stable you go to, you can get points to lodging there, registering a ah. horse like that. Without further ado, since this is your first time visiting a new screen, I, you get a pony, pony point. Use stable points, collects, yep. Ah. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards. All right, cool. Oh. Ah. All right. Well, I don't have the money to to stay here. Yeah. Let's just see what they have. Oh. Ah. Towing harness. Very useful. You can hook up to. to oh, beautiful. All right. So I need three of those pony points. Three pony points, and I'll be able to get a thing to hook up to those carts but i think that like i said i think that's a very good spot to end this we did quite a bit today we finished the sky uh, island we checked out what was happening with print uh the princess and we've unlocked central hyrule we're on our way to our first of the four possible little um things that we have to check out based on the the, the fishers or whatever you want to call them that happened from the castle thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've been enjoying this series uh, make sure you catch out lots of other videos on the channel. There's going to be a lot of fun content. This has been super entertaining so far. I'm very pleased with the changes they made. And we're just going to continue this thing. I, I have no idea how long it's going to take to beat the game. This could be like a 40-part series plus. Uh, but we're going to go through it slowly. And we're going to enjoy every step of the way. So thank you guys once again. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll catch you back in the next video. Bye, guys.